any date for Baker Four? What, what's going on with that? Uh, I mean, it gets. I think it just gets pushed back sometimes have because yeah, people yeah. have parts they want to release now. Mm-hmm. Some people don't have much. Like me, getting tricks is pretty few and far in between now. So, I, I mean, I got a lot to film for it with that video still too. Okay. You know? So yeah, how do you I do feel have about tricks? But yeah, how do you feel about yeah. those tricks right now? Good. I love. I'm psyched. I got a hey. trick today right before I got here. Did you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't get backside flips that much, so I found the spot that I could do a backside flip on. Oh yeah. And yeah, I went there to this morning with Beagle. What, what spot? <laughs> How many stairs? What are we talking about? Just whispered in the mic. Nobody's gonna. I don't skate stairs much. No, anymore. you know. Okay. The reason why I mean I don't skate stairs much anymore. I still do, but mm-hmm. I don't do it much just because it makes it to where I can't skate for a couple weeks afterwards. And see, that's a bummer. Kind of sucks, dude. Like yeah. I, I'd rather be able to skate when I want to than not like I, I sometimes i won't even skate for two weeks but if i can't skate for two weeks i start getting weird two weeks is a long time yes it is it's a long time it but is. what was cool to watch your skateboarding over time is that you were doing the bigger stuff when you were younger and then you right. brought it onto the tables oh my god yeah. and then you you know and then you well that was because of a certain reason i broke my leg oh shit mm. yeah and when i broke my leg that changed kind of a lot of my my you know i wasn't jumping at that time either once i broke my leg coming back from that was well what could i skate so oh. I started skating a lot of the other shit, a lot more of the other shit. And mm-hmm. then I just kind of fell into filming more of that stuff towards the end. And then I did start filming bigger stuff once my leg got better. I mean, I have a freaking massive plate, titanium plate in my leg with eight screws in it, all, yeah. all at different angles. Seriously? You know? Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. What did you, uh, did you break your leg skating? Didn't break my leg skating, riding a motorcycle. Uh, yeah. Okay. No way. Yeah. That sucks. I know. Were your sponsors pretty bummed? Are you kidding? Yeah. Me? <laughs> yeah. My sponsors are like, what is up with this kid? <laughs> <laughs> when, when was that? What uh what what time frame? Like right after Baker 3, I'd say. Okay. And that was yeah. Did you turn pro around that time too? I was pro, yeah. You turned yeah. pro before that video or right before the video came uh, out. See, Drew was telling me if I do a good enough video part for Baker 3, I might turn pro. And that mm. gave me a lot of that gave me a lot of like, wow, that's fucking crazy that he even told me that. Just go you for know? some yeah. good incentive. Yeah, yeah, so I was like, exactly, good incentive. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I was yeah. like, fuck, holy shit, you know, I gotta do this. This is awesome. Hell yeah. And then he he was like, before the video came out, he's like, eh, you already did it. <laughs> and I was like, no way. He's like, Yeah, dude. He's like, then you have to wait for it to come out. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? And so it super surprised me. It was crazy. I, it, I did not think about it at all. I didn't think one second that I was going to turn pro because he had just told me sure. months before that that, you know, hey, yeah, work you, hard for it. Yeah. Exactly. Work hard for it. Video comes out. We're going to turn you pro. Wow. So I was not expecting it at all. Did they surprise you with Absolutely the boards? Absolutely surprised and it, me. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. We, I was living in Palmdale at the time. I drove, drove out and, uh, Brought a couple homies, met up a skate spot. It was this mm-hmm. old skate spot in Burbank where it was a foundation spot. And there used to be a gap there. Yeah, I remember. Drop and a gap there, yeah. yeah. And so they're like, yeah, come skate this spot. It's weekday. Sick. You're going to love it. And I was like, fuck yeah, I can't, you know, I want to skate with the bros. Sure. Get out there and we're all skating around. Everyone's skating. And I see this board. Everyone's riding the same board. <laughs> oh, one of, the, one of those yeah. surprises. Yeah. 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 Like, what That's where the Corey it? came. Yeah, they did that. Yeah. I, t- I remember telling uh, Eric. I go, Eric, what's up with that hammer time board everyone's riding? I think it's dope. And he's all, the what? I was all, the hammer time board. And he's like, it doesn't say hammer time, dude. And he looked, he's like, look at it. And wow. I was like, oh shit, it says Hermanator. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? He's all, yeah, you thought here. it said hammer time. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it said hammer time. I was like, what's up with that hammer time board? He's like, what? What hammer time board? That's like, so dude, sick. It's your name. That's incredible, That's dude. That's amazing. Crazy. I love surprises, bro. Oh, yeah, it's just such a great surprise. story, man. You hate surprises. Yeah, I know. What, what the hell are you talking about? He said earlier you hate surprises. <laughs> I love it when other people get surprised. <laughs> you love hearing about other I people's love surprises. it, bro. It <laughs> yeah. is yeah, I, I don't like it when it happens to me, yeah. but I love yeah, other don't people's. Su- yeah, don't surprise you, but I'll tell you about my surprises all day. <laughs> you can live off other people's surprises. There That's you a joke, go. you know. Bro, when That's you watch cool. these other people get surprised, like it, it just brings this like warmness to you, you know? Chris is the dude that watches like unboxings. Like, Ooh. <laughs> What What's is there? there? Wow, that's not I, much of a surprise, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched. I've watched a couple, but um, no, I just like it. But it's cool to watch it, someone. It is, it's cool to watch someone saying. down the line. It, it's and then it happens. so good. It's yeah. so great. I love it. People work hard, and so you're pro now. And the video hadn't even come out, so I worked even. I was like, wow. Well, now that I'm pro, I for sure have to have a good video. Part. There you go. It's not even. There you go. You know. So there was no question about it at that point. Right. And then, uh, so I filmed as much as I could, and. 
and they ended up giving me last part so, so it's really sick. exciting yeah i was psyched on that wow fucking honored to have that oh yeah. yeah i think awesome. the only last part i've ever had in a video yeah but truly i think i'm wrong beagle has last part in the baker video beagle yeah, yeah. beagle has last much part. deserved though beagle absolutely yeah you know for a long time people d i always say like do you know who has the last part of baker 2g who no dustin dolan Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. Don't really... Yeah, see? Yeah. Huh. I always think of Greco for some reason. Every... Yeah. You'll always think of Greco because he was the major hit of that yeah. video. Sure. You know? Yeah. coming back, so... Huh. So, how often do we really remember the last part? <laughs> I don't know, sure. but it's nice to say you I remember, had the last you remember part. Your favorite part. Nice. You remember your favorite part. Oh, exactly. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, you don't remember. Sure. Yeah. You're like, Brad well, Hayes. We all remember the last part. It's always nice to say, though. I had the cool. last part in the video. I think that's, yeah, that's yeah. good. Dust Hot chocolate good. always adds second to last. MJ beat me out, but they just you know. didn't know how to decide. They're decide. like, we don't know what to do here. We don't. I'll give it to MJ. You know, he's he's pretty good. Yeah. You gave it it's to MJ, good. right? I did. Or, <laughs> I did. You yeah, had to yeah. be like, you know, they what? Just asked me, and I said, you know what? M he needs it right <laughs> now. MJ need needs it. last. You part. should be saying, I have everyone's favorite part. <laughs> MJ gave you a switch flip manual, so it's, it kind of works out. That's true. You know? That's yeah, true. It's a great gift, right there. Yeah. yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. That's right. So breaking your leg, though, it sounds gnarly. Plates, screws, yeah. all that shit. It, it, yeah. It's got to be a mind fuck, though, to try to come back from that, you know, and be it's skating been, on a... Dude, seven months in a cast, didn't even walk for a year. It was hard. But you said you, you did it on a motorcycle. What happened? Dude, I was so into motorcycles. Was it like a car accident or... I've always wanted to have a motorcycle as a kid, yeah. but like that was so far out of our price range of having that. Oh, right. Like, oh, there was no way I was ever going to have a motorcycle. And well, if it was, it'd be like a motorcycle from 30 years ago that's all, tore, which was sure. great. I would take that all day. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I remember we had a Kawasaki 100. It was pretty old. It was the 80s, but it was nice. Okay. So when I had some money, in, you know, that I'd saved up, they asked me, like, what do, what do you want to buy? And the first thing I went out and bought was a dirt bike. <laughs> I'm like Danny Way. I was like, I, you know, watching these on videos with Danny Way and all yeah. that. I'm like, yeah, that's who I, that's the way I, I am too. So if I get that to that point, right, oh, I'm buying a dirt bike too. So I went out and bought dirt bikes, a bunch of them, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them, not just one. How no, many? I was buying a lot of them. I was even trying to like sponsor kids. Seriously, I was like, hey, I was like you're a good rider. Do you want a bike? <laughs> yeah right yeah. so generous dude i know my buddy, my buddy was like yeah, of course i want a bike so I hooked him up but I, I went through this bike craze i was okay. all about dirt bikes i started jumping pretty big jumps my mm. whole thing was I, i'm not going to go to my local track and not be able to do the whole track and race my friends and have a good time okay so i learned fast i i'd already been such a fan of it my entire life mm -hmm. I, sw I just thought i was instantly so good at riding a bike and i feel like i kind of was my friends were like hey you got some got some skills got some skills you yeah. know because you started as a bmx for as a kid though. i was bmx when i was a kid so i knew the, the, the ability to float a bike and yeah. you know across jumps and how it felt when you'd run into walls basically, sure you know so uh yeah I, I was all about it i mean maybe it was a joke but it, it, eventually we would we would go and rent these tracks out LECR. We rent it out and we'd have it to ourselves. Oh shit! Because I had a lot of friends who were pretty good at racing. They'd they'd get into the, you know, go to the supercrosses and they'd race. I don't know if they'd ever make it in, but they were they were pretty up there. And okay. So I was a lot of heavy influence there too, you know. Right. But they would rent the track out, <clears throat> and they and they would get, you know, the whole track to themselves. And we were riding our big bikes, and there was one jump. It was about a hundred foot. It was like a little under. It was like 92 or something like that. But it was big. And I really want, there was, I was like, I want to jump that jump at by the end of the day. So I had my mind really set on it. Like a tabletop or a more tabletop. like a ramp? No, it was no? a tabletop. Okay. It was a tabletop. Most of the jumps there that were big were all tabletops. Gotcha. So it was pretty safe. But okay. still, I was like, I want to do that by the end of the day. And then we were riding. I didn't do it. And the track got a little rough. So they, we stepped off the track for a minute and they started to grade the track with the tractor to make it smooth again. Ooh. Yeah, and they were like, cool, you know, this next time we go out, when the track's all smooth, I'm going to jump that jump. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to do that for sure. And I was really nervous. I was like, dude, I got to hit that fucker pinned, you know? So uh, I was pretty nervous. We ended up taking our little pit bikes out on the track to just suss it up, give a little, you know, let's go check the track out before we get out there in the big bikes. Yeah. So I just... I wasn't. I didn't even care. I, like I don't even think I put a helmet on, dude. I like, I was just yeah, let's go. You know, so I had shoes and took my boots off earlier, just cruising. We were just gonna go check the track out. Uh oh. Yeah. So I went out there on my little ass pit bike, and the little tires that they were, and all the ruts we had been putting in the ground from turning the corners, 
as I'm coming around this corner, there's right before the whoops, and I'm on my little bike, so I was going to try to just fuck around and jump on them, you know? Okay. And as I'm coming around the corner, my front wheel comes out of the, um, the, rut, whatever, of yeah. the rut. Yeah, so I cross-rutted. You know, I'm literally just turning around Your front around wheel fell off? No, like the it oh. fell out of the rut. So when you cross rut, basically I see like what the you're back, saying. you know, if if, okay. if both your wheels aren't in the rut, you usually end up like kind of you yeah, know, but they you get just, squirreled like squirrely. Oh, they just yeah. gritty the whole thing. So I just also like a topsoil. It's kind of like loose. Too. Sure, okay. It's, it's like well, it's like this. Basically, boom, you get you end up high side, and then you end up going like completely sideways. You know, like yeah. your back tire is stuck in that rut, but your front will go wherever. Okay. So I got stuck that, and it turned me completely sideways, and all I basically did was go over the hill like i wasn't even really jumping gnarly i just went over the hill and as like as i got thrown off so sideways i had to put my foot down i came came around that corner came sideways came over the hill at the same time and i'm like shit i gotta put my foot down because i was gonna basically Mike die yeah, and i just fucking put my Snatch. leg down dude it was like a kneecap in the middle of my leg instantly i was like it was just swinging i'm like oh, oh fuck bro dude. oh this is so gnarly it was insane i'm not even kidding you it was like the dang most dangliest kneecap oh. in the middle of my leg and everyone was like, what happened? Oh, my God. Because I didn't fall. So you, your legs snapped in snapped, half. Snapped, broke, yeah. What do you call the ambulance? There, you have to. There was an ambulance on site because we're... You, you race, rent out the tracks. Race, rent you have to track, insurance, yeah. Yeah. all yeah, that. Okay. All that stuff. So gotcha. They were there in seconds. That's good. This was crazy, too, because uh, it was... And, you know, like I said, it was a kneecap in the middle of my leg. That thing was in two pieces, you know, oh. both bones were, oh. it was compound fracture as well. Also, that means it was, came out of the skin, came out of the skin. Yeah. Oh my so, God. So yeah, it's pretty gnarly. So it, I'm sitting there with a knee bent and then a leg bent <laughs> <laughs> and then the leg straight <laughs> and then the, the, well, the, yeah, the, the foot straight oh. heels basically rest against my, so you broke like this part. Yep. yep oh straight my down, God. Yeah. Oh, man. God. Shin gnarliest shinner you could ever ask for oh. right? like shin to the max yeah but crazy thing was is the doctor or the the ambulance guy comes and they pick my leg up and they, he starts kind of holding it. i'm like ah oh, whatever he's holding it straight i'm like oh fucking so he takes the knife and start or the scissors starts cutting it as soon as he exposes it <laughs> fucking sprayed him right in the face with blood yeah <laughs> and he just right. dro- and he just drops my leg oh he's huh? like out of here and I'm like, ah! <laughs> yeah, I the ambulance head. guy is not supposed to do that. Yeah, I'm like, what did you expect, bro? He's you not the EMT. To be... He's like, probably not that. I'm saying, bro. Dude, my, I had a lot. I had a lot of uh, adrenaline going, and it was like every time my heart beat, it was like, whoa, dude. And it would yeah. stop, and it, oh my, and it would drip. <laughs> not really. It's eventually chilled out, but did you pass out? Yeah. No, I was just sitting there. Ah! Some people pass out because of the pain and the whole yeah, thing. Their totally. body shuts off. You no, know. I was like screaming. My body's like, "Here, smoke a joint." I was like, "Dude, chill out." I'm like, "I, I, 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 gotta, I gotta go to the hospital right, right. now." I'm like, "My leg is broken in half. <laughs> Holy I can't. I can't shit. calm down right now." I feel like I could have passed out watching that. I know. Yeah. But, yeah. Dude, I remember. I don't the, like shit like that. I, I the whole ride, I didn't have I didn't have any painkiller like morphine or whatever mm. until I got to the hospital. But I was pretty chill by the time I got in the ambulance. Oh I remember God a couple damn. things I was freaking out on, a couple bumps or whatever. But. Oh, yeah, I bet. So, I mean, they have to realign your leg. They have They're to do surgery the probably right yeah, away. Surgery right away. Damn. Yeah. I looked at it for a solid eight hours, though. <laughs> Oh, or yeah. something. I, you can't. I you can't wrong. take certain. Like you have to wait till all your food and water's out of your yeah, system, they, right? Yeah, they kept me around for a while before yeah. they oh even put me in there. God, bro. And I went in real late at night. I remember I was so tired when they. Put me. So seven months in a cast. Yeah. You couldn't walk for what? I mean, a seven, year. You said? I had uh, eighteen staples up my to close the wound. Oh my god! Eighteen yes. staples. God yeah. So, and then so I had that screen, that white or that, like the opened. I had a cast that yeah. had an open f- face so I could take care of the wound. Oh. I had to rub iodine all over it all the time and it was crazy. It was, it was really hard to take care of that. That was yeah. that was the toughest <sighs> part alone. And if I would stand, if I wouldn't have my foot elevate, if I wouldn't have my leg elevated, it was so swollen that the second I would unelevate it, this was the hardest thing about taking, going to the bathroom, like, you know, taking shits and everything. Mm-hmm. Dude, it would start to, like, blood would start rushing there so much, it would just, and it would... Pulsate? It would yeah. rip open the staples. Oh, oh, no. And bleed everywhere. No way. Yeah, just all over the place. And I'd have to clean it up again, and I would, you know, so I'd go lay down. I was laying down a lot, you know. God these damn, And man. Mike White and Matt Allen, they were living with me at the time, you know, and they seen me go through hell, basically, wow. you know. 
That's fucked. Totally, yeah. yeah. But I, I had a cast for seven months, and by the time my cast, I was about seven months deep, I was doing hard flips on on flat ground my, <laughs> with the cast. With, yeah, with the cast, oh, yeah, wow. in my on my carpet. In okay, my at least you were practicing. Oh, I played <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Totally. How long did it take you to get back into it? Took a while because it took a long time. Like I said before, it's kind of oh. one of those injuries that you, you might even be scared to. Yeah. Do shit on. Yeah. B Turner is a huge inspiration on that. Brandon one. Turner. Yeah. yeah. Dude, he broke both of his legs. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Like, you know, I, he was just, I had just heard about his story and was like, dude, if, you know, he's this huge inspiration, I'm just going to try to be, have a B Turner mentality. There you, know? you go. So, wow. How long That's before crazy. you actually, like, were actually comfortable? It's about again. a year before about I even year. started skating. Even after the cast was off. It was so weird. He's like, yeah, check. I pulled the cast off. Yeah, check it out. See how it feels. I hit, as soon as I hit the floor, I Collapsed. I bet. My foot could not handle shit. Well, bro, yeah. your whole leg is like atrophy. The whole muscle's gone, yeah, gone. I'm sure. All muscle yeah. is gone, yeah. It was like this, this big, yeah. Jesus. And it's still been really hard to build back that muscle because okay. when, yeah, you trip out on this shit too. When I had that, that open area, when I was taking care of that wound, Mm-hmm. I went into the doctor. He pulled the staples out. He's like, "Oh, you're everything's clear. We could put a full cast on you now." And I was like, "Cool, right on." I've been waiting to get a full cast anyway, you know. Yeah. Puts this full cast on me, and I had each cast for a month. Okay. And I had seven different casts. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so each month I'd go in there and get a new one. And I went in there after he just my first full cast, and I remember I was like, you know, at this point it was starting to itch a lot. I'm like, dude, what the heck? I didn't itch it much, but I went in there and. He pulled that cast off, and my entire area where that thirty or the set, uh, eighteen staples was was exactly. filled full of maggots. Oh my! Serious? Dude, filled what? full of moving, like in your skin, moving, crawling maggots in your fucking really? in my skin, burrowed inside the nestling hole. You could see the movements Dude, they're of like, the like thriving off my my leg and i'm like that's that feeling i've been feeling for a while now. That's it. Oh. And he doesn't say a word. He just turns around. Get, opens up his cabinet, grabs a wire brush, like literally a wire brush, and just, yeah, just starts scraping. Right. And I'm like, oh, God, what are you doing? <laughs> He's oh, scraping the maggots <laughs> out of out your of fucking skin. He's scraping these maggots out of there. Like it was no big deal. No big deal. Oh, I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> a couple maggots, a couple maggots in the... In the... That's fucking jack. Dude. Yeah, it wasn't infected. It was maggotized. <laughs> but I mean, that's why they have to change these casts every month, right? They're, I mean, the yeah. molds can grow in your shit. What like, had I... happened was my wound wasn't fully healed. It was yeah. in the cast and it opened back up. All that weird moisture probably in there, whatever the f- I don't know whatever was going on. It Fungus some built. Sort of bugs. Some yeah. sort of, yep. Yeah. Some I always wonder of... how maggots just form. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, where did the fuck did he come from? But where the flies are in his cast? Like How do, where, flies where do they fl- are just in me? What yeah, is, where, yeah. Did they, where did maggots come from? Where did they come from? Dude? That's the disgusting as fuck, though. Oh, That's horrible. It was, he almost gave Kelly a heart attack. It was real. I, it was some real shit. When I seen that, I was like, where, where am I? I, don't know. I feel like I'm about to I mean, to that's gnarly. Like, <laughs> that's like... <laughs> I don't think I'm even... Really, death that's not, that's yeah. your own body. Yeah. You're yeah. seeing moving fucking maggots in your own oh, body. Yeah. That's that's pretty... Burrowed inside that opened area, too. They weren't outside crawling around. They were like burrowed in that they're little just zone. feeding off you feeding off yeah, I would have been I would have been petrified the next cast they took off you know what I mean like I would have just been like what dude, are they trip out find on next? this the dude just bandaged my leg up and put another full cast on I was like dang this is scary well, you don't gotta <laughs> put some hydrogen peroxide on he cleaned it yeah like, he cleaned oh, okay, it okay. and then like bandaged gotcha. it up and then just put a cast on me I was like you don't want to open this one on like take care of it like, it no, must I'm be like, a common thing I, that one I got two weeks later so he's like hey I'm gonna do it two did weeks you get it quicker yeah and it wasn't it wasn't bad it was a little little weird a couple more maggots no more maggots <laughs> i don't like those bugs Gnarly though dude oh, maggots no. who needs them what are they for and, but hey when i when i finally got that cast off he told me to you know jump down on the ground and, and when i hit the floor i felt like i rebroke my you leg break. oh oh shit. yeah that shit will hurt to me that's hard. the scariest shit though yeah. you have this broke you just healed from this thing and now i'm i'm scared to i was scared re-break it yeah i wanted to almost go back in the cast go i go back to just being yeah, yeah safe safe i was like dude this thing is not working but then like, you get like a, a boot or something like that to wear for a I while i had a boot for a little bit and then he just said to jump on it and then no i just started doing a lot of exercises they were telling me to Physical do a lot of like and, yeah, yeah right. doing a lot of calf exercises started doing a lot of that shit got real serious about that because i was like it's time it's to the most back. important part of after being injured physical yeah, therapy dude, yeah. really working is. out yeah it huge. was hard to build that leg up though because it didn't heal right the way that that infection went down you know it it healed kind of 
You'll even see. Okay, like, let's for see. Instance, yeah, here's, like, pull, pull his leg up. So this muscle should actually be more over there. Yeah. Should oh, be yeah. more over this way, you know? It looks fine so, to me. It's not bad, yeah. but really the truth is, is this muscle had a hard time kind of like forming again. Leg looks great though, bro. That's good, right? It's a little white. Skinny. It's a little and, white, but... Uh, <laughs> super <you know>. white. <laughs> and super... <Just> toothpicks. <laughs> chicken leg. Yeah. That that thing did all, like, did some jumping. Yeah. yeah. It seems like you got more pop out of it. You worked it out so hard that you started... That's where I was, yeah. I was yeah. going to say, I was changing my skating of them to getting exercise in that way, you know? Yeah. But yeah, the, I, I did all, I feel like, my best stuff after I broke my leg. And that was after Baker 3? Filming for... Stay gold. Stay gold. Right. And all the in between. You yeah. Know, Baker has a death wish. Uh, all those little things. You know, shake junk or was Sound, after, but. It sounds to me like you were kind of on a mission too after that yeah. whole, whole ordeal. I feel like I kind of had a lot to prove at that yeah. point. Yeah. And, you know, it, probably shouldn't be, doesn't even really need to be known, but like this is where I was going through. So I, I had a really good deal. Justin just got me on Volcom. Mm. And I was like, no, I was really psyched. Like, wow, this is amazing. And then I got kicked off Volcom the second I broke my leg. They're oh, like, dude, it's really? in your contract that if you get hurt, oh, no. you're going to be longer than three months. Like, it's just, I, they were like, I'm sorry. There's nothing I could do. About Justin, it. wow. No, it was Dustin Dolan. Oh, Dustin. Oh, Dustin. Okay, I thought they said Justin. My bad. Yeah. Hey. Dustin. D Dustin Dolan Sick. helped me, you know, so, and it happened fast. I was wow. on and then I was off. And they were actually going to pay me pretty good money. So I was really bummed about losing Damn. That. Yeah. Did you have insurance at the time you broke your leg? No. That's oh, a that's damn. a heavy. The only time I've ever had insurance is filming for America videos. They always hooked that. Oh, they always hooked it up. Oh, that's dope. Oh, I just recently got rid of it. They charge up the ass. Bro, for you got to keep that shit though, bro. Dude. You never know, bro. Your appendix you know, could you? burst or something. You know what I mean? Like you never know what happened. I can rock on, bud. Okay. Rock <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. Rock it till the wheels fall off, man. Oh, shit. Oh, oh man. Nah, I mean, yeah, it's it's probably important to have. I, I, I think it is. Yeah. You know, you just never know. I mean, right. Like, my whole paycheck would go to my freaking insurance, so I just don't even care. Bro, you could probably afford it, bro. You got some investments and shit. I've invested my money. I don't have no more money. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>